Hey guys, it's really hard to plan weddings these days, but we can still make wedding crafts. And that is why today I'm going to show you how I made some DIY cake toppers that I thought were really cute on Pinterest. So hopefully you'll find one of these fun as well and can easily make it for yourself for your own wedding cake. Everything I'm gonna make is super cheap. I got all of my materials from the dollar store for the most part, I think, or on Amazon. And I think for the most part, even if you're not super crafty, you should be able to make some of these. Even if there's some trial and error, don't be afraid to try because the materials are not expensive. So if you mess up, you can always just buy another dollar dinosaur or whatever it might be. So the three kinds of cake toppers I made today were these golden dinosaurs, which I'm obsessed with, this clothespin couple, and my golden skull couple here. So actually gold, gold is kind of a theme I see that we're doing here today. Please like this video if it's helpful for you because that is very helpful for me. And please note that you can totally change any of these any way you want, including the colors and the outfits and the genders of any of your cake toppers. I just kind of made what I saw on Pinterest, but totally feel free to change these. I'm noticing too that my cake toppers are dressed very formally. They're in black tie which is definitely not going to be how my wedding is, my backyard wedding. So feel free to change these up however you want to make it a little bit more appropriate to you and your partner and the personality of your wedding. Okay, so my first cake toppers, these cute little dinosaurs here, are a kind of cake topper that I've seen kind of a lot all over Pinterest, these metallic sort of animals or dinosaurs. I've seen them in like deer and other, I don't know, other kind of animals on Pinterest, and I just particularly like the dinosaurs. And this is so easy to make because all you need to do are get literally dollar store dinosaur figurines or animal of, or the animal of your choice, whatever kind of animals you want. And like if you're gonna do a forest, um, like an enchanted forest style or rustic style wedding, deer look really cool. Just a little side note there. Um, so I got these dinosaurs and then I painted them gold. I used acrylic paint and I put two coats of paint on them. And um, if you've never used acrylic paint before, it dries super fast, it's really, really easy to use. You could also spray paint your figurines. I don't really have the option of doing that because I live in an apartment, so it's just not very practical for me. But you could totally spray paint these as well and it might even be faster. Uh, and then what you do is you just have to add accessories really. And those are so easy to do. I just got uh, these doilies. Again, a dollar store purchase here, little like table doilies. And I cut them into little triangles. I did a lot of experimentation with this because this is the first time I've made any of these things from Pinterest. Um, but I cut them into little triangles and I took my hot glue gun and sort of layered them a little bit. You don't have to make it as complicated as this, um, but you just basically cut the doilies into a triangle shape and hot glue them onto the dinosaur to make a little dinosaur bride like this. Um, and I wanted to make it a little bit more fancy, uh, so I got little like sticky jewel things, sticky um, jewels, jewel stickers, I don't know what they're called, from the dollar store. And I put a few on her little veil that I'd made out of the doily. And I also gave her a little necklace, like a little jeweled necklace here. Isn't she cute? She's just the cutest little thing. I love her. Um, and I also found these little mini roses, also from the dollar store. Um, and I was going to, my plan A was to put little roses on her head because I just love flower crowns. And anyway, I thought that would look really cute. But because I already had the jewels and the doilies on her head and around her neck, <clears throat> excuse me, around her neck, I just kept it really simple and um, hot glued a little rose bouquet to her hands. And she's, she's just so adorable, I love her. Um, and then for Phil, my partner's dinosaur here, I just gave him a bow tie and a top hat. And the way I did that is I got a piece of black felt. So they sell these rolls of felt at the dollar store. I just got a piece of black felt and I just cut out a little like double triangle thing. I kept it really simple. I just eyeballed it. You can see here, it's not like a very complicated bow tie. It's just 
basically two triangles. <laughs> And uh, the hat is a top hat from Monopoly. I just opened up uh, like our old Monopoly game and I took the little top hat out and put that on him. I think it actually might look cool if I um, painted this black with acrylic paint, but I didn't really realize that until after I, I had glued it on his head. But I think maybe it might be cute if I took an extra step and, and dyed that black. My plan B for the top hat, if this didn't look great, was to make one out of the felt, but I didn't actually, that it didn't come to that. But I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of my cute little dinosaurs? Let me know below. Okay, the second cake topper I made was this one, which I made out of a gigantic clothespin. I actually personally wasn't aware that you could buy gigantic clothespins in this size, but I saw clothespin cake toppers on Pinterest and I was gonna just buy the little normal clothespins from the dollar store until I saw this gigantic one being sold, so I went and picked that one up. I think I'll put links, if I can find links to some of these things I used down below if you don't wanna go to the dollar store, whatever you can just find. I'll try to find as many as I can and I'll link them in the description bar down below. This one is very easy to make, but of the three, I guess like the most complicated or the most technical you you have to believe in yourself a little bit as far as the little details on the face but it's not hard don't worry um, so what I did is I took this clothespin and I removed the silver thing that is holding them together and I almost wish I hadn't removed this because when I showed it to Phil when I finished he was like oh can you make them kiss like pinch their bodies together and make them like smooch and I was like oh shoot I didn't even think about that. I should have left this in so I could make them kiss. <sighs> but all of the ones I saw on Pinterest um, had the thing removed, so I removed it as well. So after I had separated them, I took the, the little girl here and I just kind of estimated where I thought her neckline should be and I just started painting all of her dress white here. Um, again, like if you feel like nervous, if you feel like you're gonna mess up or whatever, that's okay. <laughs> don't don't stress too much. You can always correct a mistake. If you make a mistake, there's always ways to fix things. Plus, this clothespin is not very expensive, so you can just buy a few clothespins and if you mess up, just try again on another one. But essentially, I just painted her all white. And then when I went to do her hair and face, I just looked at Pinterest. Honestly, I was just copying Pinterest pins that I really loved um, to get the hairline uh, correct and to get the eyelashes correct and the lips and all that. And if you feel like you're gonna mess up on these little tiny details, I was definitely shaky as I was trying to paint these. Just use a Sharpie. Don't worry about like using a tiny little paintbrush for these. Just get some colorful Sharpies and, and draw it on. I think that would be a lot easier if you're nervous. And uh, for the hairlines and the clothes that you want them to wear, just look on Pinterest and choose something that you think looks cute. Same for the little man here. I just copied the neckline of the little fake tuxedos that I saw on Pinterest and it's it was me just eyeballing it. I didn't measure anything or anything like that. I was just kind of eyeballing it. If it's not perfect, it's fine in my opinion. The hairline, this actually doesn't look like my partner. My partner has long hair. He's got a man, my partner has a man bun. This guy has really short hair. So if I were gonna use the, this one for our wedding, not only would I have to take them out of black tie, but I would have to give him a little, little man bun here.
The veil I think is my favorite part and it's so, so simple. I just took like a big thick um, piece of white lace and I sort of like scrunched it up into a little triangle and folded it in and then I hot glued it to the back of her head. Just hot glue gunned it right on, held it down and that was it really. It was really, really easy. And then I cut the bottom so that it would touch the bottom of her dress. Um, I think you could even make it longer. It would look cool if it were, had a long train. Um, and then I hot glue gunned the bottom just so there weren't any loose pieces of lace that were gonna unravel later. Uh, and then I let them dry and when they were done, I put hot glue between them and I just stuck them together. And that was it. It was very, very, very easy to make. <laughs> Um, you just need to, I guess, trust yourself a little bit and be willing to make some mistakes and run with it. And then finally, the last ones I made were the simplest of all, these cute, cute, like rock and roll skull cake toppers that I'm in love with. My first idea when I first saw these, I think on the rock and roll bride Instagram or Pinterest, I can't remember. I'll try to find the picture and show you guys. It's like this black cake that's like dripping with gold paint and has these gold skulls on top. And it just, I thought it looked so cool. So my idea when I first saw this was to get those little skull nips, like the small version of that skull vodka, you know, like the vodka that comes in the clear skulls. Um, so to get like the tiny versions of that, the little nip versions and to paint those gold. But the problem is those are kind of expensive I think they're really expensive actually and they have a little like cork or um, like melt spout thing on top and I didn't want anything to be on top of the skulls um, so when I was in the dollar store last week looking around there was a ton of Halloween stuff on sale and uh, there were these like two I don't remember how much they cost two dollars three dollars skeletons on sale and what I decided to do was really morbid, but just to buy those and pop their heads off of their bodies. Uh, it, I felt really weird about it, to be honest, but to pop their heads off of their bodies and to just use these really, really cheap um, skulls from the skeletons at the dollar store and paint these gold with acrylic paint, of course. Again, you could use spray paint and it would probably be a lot easier. I ended up doing two coats on these guys. And that's it, that's it. That's all I had to do to make these cake toppers. I actually, I've been looking at them and I think I wanna add some flowers to one of them, like a little flower crown, just because I'm obsessed with flower crowns, I guess. And I love roses and I love like skulls and roses and that whole aesthetic. Please don't spend a bunch of money on a cake topper, unless there's one that you really, really love by like a small artisan but you really don't need to spend a lot of money on these. They're so easy to make and, and to make cute with a little bit of metallic paint and accessories. I hope that this was interesting for you to watch and that you enjoyed some of these little cake toppers. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see next and I will see you next week.